This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social Association with Betfred. We're in Leeds. We've just concluded the win ahead of Josh Warrington's world title defence tomorrow evening. Challenging for the Commonwealth title on that bill, Geordie McCorry. Geordie, how are you? Hi, all good, mate. How are you doing? I'm not bad. Thank you very much for asking. Let's get straight into it. Uh, a little delay at the win today, but weight made and all good to go tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good, mate. We are uh, Ross, my, my trainer, actually, he got stuck in the car park. He's got a pickup truck and he actually got stuck in the car park. Scraped all the side of his car, but mates, the way it's been made, and then that's it, isn't it? Good to go. So what, what's a typical time for you until fight fight night now, until until you get to the arena, etc.? I'd, I'd imagine it's not the most exciting time for fighters. I mean, you can go and eat and drink, but what do you do between that time? Just kind of relax, man. We like to, I like to put a bit of fluid in my body, then we'll go to Nando's and that later on, then just kind of chill out, just go a wee bit of shopping and that, and then eat a wee bit more, then just pretty much chill out, and that's you. Good to go for tomorrow. Let's talk about tomorrow. The Zelfa Barrett we saw against Leon Woodstock, very different to the Zelfa Barrett we saw against Ronnie Clark. I don't know whether he's just improved drastically or whether he's more comfortable with the occasion or whatever. Are you prepared for an improved Zelfa Barrett? Yeah, definitely. Like he's, uh, he's improved a lot. I said that at the press conference yesterday, but for me, I don't think you can prove, can improve that much. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, like Ronnie Clark and... Uh, Leon Woodstock, two totally different fighters, you know what I mean? So, you obviously can't fight the same way against them. So, I, if I stick to the game plan that we've been working to, then I feel like there's a good chance that I'm going to beat them, you know what I mean? For sure. Without giving away all your tactics, I understand you're not going to sit here and break it down for me round by round, how you're going to go about things. Can you give us a rough idea of how you're planning to approach a fight tomorrow evening against Alpha? Just what are A1s, isn't it? It's when you get in there, like a game plan can go out the window and that, but what we've been working on, we've been working specifically on things, even when we've been sparring Archie and Marco and that, even you're still in the back of your mind training towards Alpha, so everything's been towards him, so I am a good, I'm a good place, training's went well, this is the best camp I've ever had, so feeling good for it, man, ready to go. I was speaking to Francis Warren downstairs about yourself and he told me, as often people do when your name is mentioned, he's one of my favourite fighters to watch. He's always an exciting fight. But as you touched on the press conference, it's it's good being fan friendly, but is this about getting the win now? Yeah, well that was it. Uh, my trainer Ross obviously when he's been talking to me, like it doesn't matter if you win ugly, as long as you win and like it's alright being good, you're giving the fans what they want, everybody loves you, but you're not getting the win at the end of the day and that's why you're in it. So uh, obviously you want to get the win and that's what it's all about. Now, I just wanted to get your, your thoughts on the main event before we go on to whatever else. Josh Warrington defending his IBF World Featherweight title against Sofian Takuch. Have you seen anything of Sofian? Do you know, have, have any idea what to expect from I'd that be, fight? I'd be lying if, I'd be lying if uh, I said, oh, he's a good boxer, he's this and that, but I don't know. I just think, I don't know how he could deal with uh, Warrington's work rate, you know what I mean? Like, it's unbelievable. Like, he's just, he's the tempo that he sets in a fight's unbelievable, so... I, do, I think uh, Warrington stoppage I'm going for, for sure I, stoppage. Now let's talk about yourself, uh, you've had plenty of time to reflect now upon the Archie Sharp fight, what do you make of your performance and what is it you've been trying to improve on and work upon on the back of that as well? For me, I, never, I was going to say I've never done too much wrong but I just there was times where, like I was throwing a lot of shots and that but I was being very wasteful for them, you know what I mean, like Archie was kind of just picking his off at times, like it's a good box, a very good boxer. Like yeah, I've, I've not been hit with that shot before in my puff. Like that body shot he hit me with was unbelievable. But uh, when we went back in the gym, we've worked on stuff and like everything we've worked on after that. Like we get the, the shout to fight uh, Zelfa like about a week after. So everything that we've been working towards in the gym now is all towards Zelfa, and that's that's the way it's going. This camp. Just on Archie, we saw him out recently at the Royal Albert Hall against Declan Garrity. I'm sure you had one eye on that fight. Archie seemed to be struggling somewhat with Declan's movement and eventually caught him with what many would call a knockout of the air. Archie since has been saying he's ready to go past domestic level. He's ready for someone like a Jamal Heron. You know him quite well. Do you think he's ready to step up to world level? I think the better the opposition, I think the better Sharp will be. You know what I mean? Like, no disrespect, Garrity's a really, really, really good boxer. Do you know what I mean? But he's, he's chinny and the thing as well, like, he's very negative. He was just kind of, don't get me wrong, he was great, he was winning the rounds, but he was just kind of picking Archie and moving away, you know what I mean? But I know towards the end of the fight, Archie would catch him and stop him, and that's what he's done. One fight I wanted to get your thoughts on in a couple of weeks, your compatriot Josh Taylor competes in the World Boxing Super Series final. He attempts to unify the super lightweight division against Regis Progre. How do you see that fight going? You're back in your compatriot? 
Yeah, Josh can win then definitely, you know what I mean? But it's a it's a hard fight, you know what I mean? Like two two good boxers. Uh, but I hope I hope really hope Josh does it, you know what I mean? I like Josh and uh, I hope he does it man for sure. Alright Jordy, I'll let you go because I'm sure the last thing you want to be doing after Wayne is standing in a shopping centre talking to me, so I'll leave the last word to you. What do we see from yourself tomorrow evening in Leeds? Uh, just going to see a new and improved job McCory under like Ross, my coach, training and stuff like that, and I'll just be a totally different boxer and I'll get the win for sure. Hey, Jordy, thank you very much. Thank you.